Hey guys, what is up? Mr. Not a video. Today I'm going to show you how to make your Fire TV run faster and smoother by doing some general maintenance on it. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to get it configured. Okay guys, so it's, this is pretty simple. Um, a lot of Fire TV sticks don't have enough RAM, memory, and hard drive space to actually run a lot of apps especially if you have side loaded Kodi on it and fire starter and etc. So to make sure it's running smoothly, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the applications and then go down to manage installed applications. And a lot of the applications that are installed by default, you have to do this for. For example, what I want you to do is straight up find Amazon Music. I want you to click on it and then do clear cache, clear data for all the apps that were installed by default. For example, App Store, I'll do, I'll do that same thing for, for example, Game Circle. I'll do the same thing for, let's say, Photos, Video, anything else that's installed by default that's not your side load apps, clear cache and clear the data on it. And if you guys don't use them, you can also do a force stop as well. That will help make your Fire TV stick run even more smoother. Now, something else you can try is if you go into Game Circle, turn these two off, as well as Photos, turn this one off, go into App Store, and this is up to you, but if you turn off the automatic updates and in-app purchases, it will make your Fire TV stick run smoother, but that's up to you. And make sure to collect app usage data is also turned off. Now, if you guys run all of these uh, modifications, your Android TV stick will run much smoother. As you can see, I have uh, Firestarter installed. And if you guys don't know what Firestarter is, I have a video um, idea of how to install this on your Amazon Fire TV stick. It's basically a side-loaded default launcher, which is pretty cool. I pretty I recommend everybody get this because it's really easy to use, much better than the Amazon uh, default launcher. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.